Mike Latham of CollectorKnives.net is an amazing knife designer, and this is one of his most recent. Uh, this is in prototype form, and it's a swing guard knife. A swing guard knife, lock back, traditional style uh, folding pocket knife, updated with modern manufacturing materials and design. This is made by Lion Steel, M390 Steel, and uh, a clever design. I say clever because I love the way uh, it's sort of a gun stock and a uh, gun stock pattern handle uh, set up to accommodate this swing guard in such a way that it just blends beautifully into the overall closed um, profile and fits nicely in a case. This is not the case it's gonna come with. This is uh, one of Mike's beautifully, beautiful supple leather cases, uh, but streamlined as hell. So the amazing thing about it is Unlike any other swing guard I've ever experienced, switchblade or, or or cheetah, there's no slop. There's no play in that in that guard at all. And there's always play. I mean, in my experience there. And they have engineered that out. Leave it to the Italians, huh? Uh, speaking of which, you got the crown spine. You've got some of the hallmarks of uh, of lion steel and the Italian makers. Um, titanium bolsters here. You got carbon fiber. I, of course, uh, if this were mine, I would opt for a natural handle material or micarta, uh, but probably on this I'd go with wood or stag if they did stag. Uh, to me, um, very, very classy knife at three inches or so on the blade. It's really robust. It's more robust than I would expect uh, for a sort of, you know, traditional styled knife. That lock is solid, and uh, this thing is a really, I mean, what I'm getting at is it looks classy, yes. It is classy, yes, but you could you could put this through its paces. You could work this knife. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do uh, too much, uh, anything too hardcore with it, but you could uh, do chores repeatedly. You could cut a lot of cardboard with this locking knife, and I, I wouldn't say that about a lot of traditional styled knives. Um, I, I can hear you wincing. I can hear you wincing. Uh, okay, so let me show you. I, I like to compare, do size, but also style comparisons. And this uh, this is the Buck 112 Ranger. So it's about the same length. It's a locking sort of traditionally styled knife. And, uh, you know, I would put them in the same kind of category. This gives you an idea of where let's see i should i should go right there this will give you an idea of uh what what you can expect here it is with the kershaw culpepper this is a great slip joint knife uh a modern interpretation of a of a barlow uh if you saw this video recently mike has another uh knife in prototype form with fox this beautiful gun stock pattern, single bladed slip joint, which is stunning, stunning. And uh, incidentally, has the same uh, same kind of micarta as my new um, Jason Knight MK Ultra, also from Fox. So it's kind of cool to see it across the, uh, across the knives. This has a uh, nice titanium liners and bolsters, similar to this. Um, let's see. Here it is with the Katano, a recent hit, also from Lion Steel, and uh, a slip joint pocket knife, Navaja style, uh, Spanish style knife. Here it is with the Gentleman Jack, also a modern slip joint in modern materials, titanium and S35VN. Let me show you this with a couple of GECs. Here it is with the 15. To me, the 15 is sort of, uh, it's the paramilitary two of GEC. You know, how everyone uses the paramilitary two to compare uh, folding, you know, locking folders to. Well, for me, it's the 15 uh, because a lot of people are familiar with and have that pattern. And oh, 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 just to show it off. Beautiful thing this is. 
what is the number on this? I can't even remember. It must be high, right? High up there because it's large. Oh, no, I take it back. It's the 23. That was pretty on the nose of me. Let me put that there. Oh, wait. All right, fingerprint magnet. There it is with the big old 23 based on the Winchester uh, trapper. So that's that's probably the biggest, that is the biggest slip joint I have, I think. I have a Boker folding pocket hunter that might be bigger. And here it is with the with the old case trapper. A lot of people have this trapper, so I think this is another good comparison knife. Big knife. So this is a pretty substantial, substantial thumb. Oh, one more. It would be irresponsible if I didn't show it with a Swiss Army knife. This is your standard size. I can never remember what that is. Some amount of millimeters that escapes me. So as I, as I mentioned, this is a prototype, but to me, uh, that means uh, they're gonna make these. So I'm very excited. I'm not sure when they're gonna be coming out. Um, oh, ooh, hidden lanyard opportunity. Uh, I do like a lanyard on, uh, on, on uh, traditional knives. The opportunity is rare to put one on, like uh, my new 47 has a lanyard hole. The, um, the back pocket by case has a lanyard hole. Uh, the, the bull busters and those ones uh, by GEC. So it's nice when you see that. I think this would look handsome with a, with a like a um, brown leather kind of fob on it. Anyway, Mike, uh, if there's any doubt, uh, we would definitely love to see this thing in production. Well, I, I, I won't speak for we, I will say I would love to see this in production. Hopefully that's, that's what's happening. And hopefully by the time this video comes out, uh, these are almost ready to go. I know I've had these for a long time. So thanks Mike for letting me check these out. And by these, I mean this and this. Two stunning knives designed by Mike Latham, who really knows how to design a knife. Hang on, let me just give you a nice shot there. It is early. I have yet to warm up. Enjoy.